Thanks. We've been watching you fix your hair. I, it's just. Oh, you were serious? <laughs> I was serious that we were watching you fix your hair. I thought you just meant like we in the room and not we as the public. Oh, we as the public and we as the room. Hey, guys. Not the whole time. I, you know, I had to fix camera issues. Yeah, um, so anyways. Hey! 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 <laughs> it's New Year's Eve, so we're a mess, which seems appropriate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plus, we're making a, a wine uh, wall tote, we have, we have no and, and it's empty, it. <laughs> which means that we drank all the wine already, even though it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Right. So. It's at 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, that's right. It's all good. What's up, guys? We are frantically finalizing details on said kit, which I have half math done right here. We'll finish that later. Clayton is currently setting up the sewing machine because we didn't have a bobbin in it. So he's winding and fixing that up and getting it all threaded so that it will sew appropriately. I've also found out that store tours sometimes take longer than an hour. Yeah, and Tony's been giving a tour to a very lovely lady. Cheryl? Was it Cheryl? Uh, I think you're right. Was Cheryl Cindy, or Sherry? Cindy? Cindy? I am so sorry. We are close, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, her and her husband, Dean. From Jeff City. From Jeff City were here, so we were giving them a tour. They are new to leather work and super excited about stuff. Um, and then I saw Fred. So, hey, Fred, if you're listening, what's up? And hey, if you're not. And hey, if you're not. Uh, he said he'd be watching, so I'm, sh- I'm sure he's doing something, watching something. It's I great. I think I ran by him on my way back here. <laughs> Legitimately ran? Like you were uh, probably. Running. Yeah. Yes. Tony and I like to run around. All right, so at some point uh, this morning, uh, Clayton will enter here and we will start working on this. So we have got (laughs) a wine can. Look at this one. This one is beautiful. So this one Denny tooled up um, when we first uh, had the kit made. And so it's got some really, really lovely grapes tooled up on it here. And we can go up here and look at it a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Good job, Holly. <laughs> so look at this, guys. This is gorgeous. Yeah, can I just make turn it just a little bit? Uh, yeah. So it's not cockeyed. That's all right. Yep. Cabin Anyways, office. so we've got this one. This one we made out of it looks like some brown collar, probably mm, odd lot, something or other, and then some tooled panels. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. That's what we're going to make today, but we're just going to do it out of some good old natural Herman Oak because, you know, that's pretty. Means you're going to fancy it up with some stitching. Look who finally joined me. Hey, guys. Look who it is. I had so much time to prepare. <laughs> we were frame. overprepared. That's what I was fixing. You could have left your hair messy today and we might not have even seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. You just, like, stand yeah, on your you tippy toes. <laughs> good to go. All right. So, yeah, let's get started. Um didn't have no. didn't have time to do tooling this morning, unfortunately. No tooling, no otherwise, lasering. Otherwise, I would have tooled it or laser engraved it or something. So we figured we're going to offer this kit in natural Herman Oak veg. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So we just figured we'd finish a natural Herman Oak veg one for you guys. And this is actually one of my favorite ways to finish uh, Herman Oak veg because it gives you that nice light tan classic leather co- color. Yes. Right. So all I've done so far is on all of the pieces I've oiled them all uh, with some 100% pure Neat's Foot oil and a shearling pad. And then on these pieces, we've already uh, coated these with gum tragacanth. See how shiny they are? Yeah. They're very nice. And so that one's that one's burnished with a uh, canvas cloth. The rest of these have just been gone over with shearling. And we can go ahead and go over the rest of them with a uh, canvas cloth, and then we'll actually get them a little bit shinier. You get the edges really good and kind of get those dark and patinaed. That's something that Liz has a handle on. Okay. 100%. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Um, on the on the finished product that we had that you did do chilling on to get the hammered look, what tool were you using? Um, I think that's just the the little pebbly backgrounder. So PB zero thirteen maybe. Yeah, I yeah, that set. There's like a set of three that you can just get that pebbled background look. Or that's if all that is. If you want to turn it upside down on the concrete and hammer your leather into concrete, you could probably get the same. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted the whole thing. Otherwise, <laughs> it's gonna. Yeah, Tony, sure. That, sure, sounds, that sounds say. great. That's how Tony does his leather crafts. Whatever you yeah, say, just, Tony. I just, I don't even hammer. I just drive over it. Just turn it upside down and just drive over it in the driveway. Meanwhile, Denny's over there with a tiny little backgrounder. <laughs> and like, Denny, why is it taking you so long? Just drive over that stuff. Lay down basket weave on the concrete and roll over it. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, Mo. There you go. All right, Chad. I'm going to need that, that air conditioning situation. <laughs> Hey, Darcy, oh, I got to do some work. Morning. What's up, Darcy? We miss you. 
Hey, Marcus, how does the new year look? Oh, you're not there yet. Tim, maybe. Let's see, it's only, uh, what, eight, uh, 7 o'clock over in Germany. Mm. It should be tomorrow for Tim, right? Is it tomorrow? Tomorrow for Tim, yeah. Tomorrow for Tim. Yeah. Tom says he is cooking for tonight's festivities. He cannot wait, but he will go back and look at it. All right, so I'm always really liberal with the gum drag. You really can't put too much on it. Especially when it smells so good. I know. It does smell so good. And then the more elbow grease you put into it with your burnishing cloth, the better it looks. Look at that machine. That's the picture I wanted. <laughs> I feel like I don't have enough gum drag. It's already been gum drag, but you can put more on it. Why not? Oh, thanks. You never have enough. All right, that's what I say. So, guys. Did you have a good trip yesterday? I did. I found, we went to a couple antique stores and I found a lot of really fun stuff for my new bathroom. How about any cool old leather projects that we can make into a video? Uh, well, okay, so I did buy a pie crust cutter. So it's this hexagon shaped metal. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, it's this hexagon shaped <laughs> metal tin that's got uh, diamond extrusions in it that I'm pretty sure you just lay it on top of your pie crust and you push it down and then it's got this little spring-loaded grate that pushes out um, to cut, you know, the lattice work. Oh, that was your... what was on the table. Yeah, that yeah, I was so that, at. but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put leather between that grate that pushes up and then like the metal diamonds and try to emboss leather and then airbrush it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about making Clayton do this. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably do it for a video. For the first time. It might, <laughs> it'll be interesting. We'll hey, Michael Seeger says, Tony, you sound the same on SLC Live as you do on the phone, so that's good. It is the same person. Yeah. We don't we don't play a switcheroo here for you guys. Oh, switcheroo. Is unless you, come in? Unless you okay. call and you ask for Tony and you get Tony Ward. Ward. And and then you'll get a different and then you will have very different Ward. person. He thinks like a computer, he says. He is a computer. That's how he sounds when he talks. And I hope he watches this because he is a computer. It is too hot to drink this coffee. Liz makes pies. <laughs> I've made one pie in the past like decade, so I really can't say that I make pies. She did not buy it for pie crust, that's for sure. I sure didn't. It's going to get dyed. Okay, am I, should I do edges too? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't do edges. So the only edges you need to be concerned about would be these two long edges right here. Oh, the long ones? Yeah. Okay. Not the short ones? Not the short edges. That's silly. I'd much rather burnish the short edges. You're weird. <laughs> well, it's less burnishing. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Is everybody off today, unlike us uh, there was sad good, people? Good news from Marcus. Yeah. We've only got six hours left in the day and nothing exciting has happened yet, so oh, we're, cool. we're good to go. So but everything's looking all right. Yeah, everything's looking fine for the future. I saw some really bad car wrecks, actually. Well, like semi-wrecks yesterday. There was one where the cab was completely burned away. Like, there was no cab. There was wheels and a chassis and no cab. Uh, that was pretty terrifying. Don't that drive on I-44. Yeah, it was very sad. Uh-oh. Yeah. Aaron would like to see your belt. My belt? Yep. Have we shown that one off before? Uh, maybe. It's so sparkly. It is. It's like a lizard snake situation, and then I mystery braided it as I do everything in my life. That's good. Tori says she's been off since December the 23rd and doesn't go back until the 4th. Oh, that uh, sounds Tori. terrible. I don't know why she didn't make the trip to Springfield, Missouri. Where she lives? Uh, in a different city. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I love different cities. Yeah. They're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're my favorite place to visit. <laughs> different uh, cities. Oh, yeah? <laughs> In fact, you did that yesterday. I did. I went to Miami, Oklahoma, and Veneta, Oklahoma, and Commerce, Oklahoma. Oh, wow. Was, did you go World to McDonald's in Bonita? That's over the road? No, I've, I've done that many times in my life because that's where my grandparents live. So that was kind of a regular thing. 
And nothing special for you. Yeah, no. Oh, that's Oh, that's also that's where my old news. my grandma fell and, and broke her uh broke her hip there. So that's a Yeah. I'm surprised you don't get free mail after that. Oh, I wasn't there. Oh. All she right. does though? Sorry, back to the wine. Yeah, I was just going to say, in order to give this a little bit of flair or something, uh, I'm just going to do a decorative stitch right up the center of it. Uh, two lines of stitching right up the middle. And so we're going to do the four panels separately, and then we'll do the main panel. I thought just I just put enough. something on it. I thought I was adding enough flair already to the video, Clay. Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Something like that. So we're gonna do these what three eighths of an inch apart sounds good. Uh, Archie was asking, did you bevel your edges on it? Um, no, actually, I haven't beveled the edges on it. I mean, you could, maybe. I mean, it's a wine holder, you know. So I mean, you could make it as fancy or unfancy as you desire. Right. Depending on how fancy your wine is. Exactly. Do you have like ten dollar bottle wine? Do you have like hundred fifty dollar bottle wine? Or more. Although I'm assuming that if you do have that expensive of wine, you're going to have a like a wine cellar or a wine cooler or some sort of climate controlled wine storage system that's not leather on the wall. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with leather on the wall, but it's more of a showpiece. Wallpaper. Maybe you just put your cork back in your like expensive bottles and then just put them in your wine holder after you drink them. Lord knows I like to keep my wine bottles. Are you hanging on Lord the knows. Make no, like chandeliers out of them? I wanted to melt them down because we've got like the heat treating oven. Mm -hmm. um, but then you know what? I just collected dozens and dozens of them and I never did that. So eventually I got rid of those. <laughs> now I just try to only keep the actual cool ones. So this will be a kit that we will sell. It'll just come in Hermit Oak Veg. Um, I was talking to Clayton earlier, like this would be a really fun thing if you didn't want to tool it and you know you wanted to do it out of like an oil tan or something that was finished. I mean, you've got a laser engraver. You could totally laser engrave these panels to customize them. Um, that would be really cool. So if anybody's interested in getting it in something other than veg, you could give us a call and we can get you a quote on what it would run for the parts and something else. But um, for the kit, as with most of our kits, it'll just be natural Herman Oak. Oh, I gotta burnish faster, huh? Uh, Chevy and Dean both had the same That's question. Would this hold Boone's arm of the box variety? Is the pattern gonna be adjustable for box one? You really should be able to, yeah. Maybe sew a couple of these panels together. You can probably get maybe two boxes on it at yeah. most. Four bottles, two boxes. Yeah. Take your, take your dick. <laughs> uh, Liz. Yes. I've been wondering when we'd have this question. Rock Leatherworth. Where can I find the poster that you showed the last? Oh, time? crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find it as soon as uh the school opens back up and we can get it printed. Cause you know it's that time of year when everything likes to close. Um, we are, we're going to get it printed by one of the colleges here in town, um, is what Chad tells me, because he says that's cool, because that's what he does, and it's uh, they do a good job. So that's what we're going to do, but they have to come back from their winter break. Uh, so hopefully in the next couple weeks, we will have some of those ready to go, and they will be up on the website and uh, purchasable. So just hang tight. That was that was my bad for being preemptive on that. But it was just really fun and cool, and I was excited about it, which sounds totally like a Kevin move, and so now I regret that. <laughs> but I apologize. Archie said he's taking notes in his new journal. Nice. Yeah, from last Friday. Very nice. Oh, right, Clayton. Yes. Okay, Clayton, I'm going to need you to get some more right. stuff. Still Where marking our deck of sticking here. We got a... Yeah. 36 inch. Tori's other city is in Georgia, she says. Mm. I like Georgia. That's pretty down there. I don't know. I was born. Cool. Cool. Good story. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt lives in Jackson. Mississippi? 
No. Jackson, Georgia. <laughs> Jackson, Illinois, Jackson, 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 Georgia. <laughs> I've been to Marietta. Just Me too. Atlanta. Yeah. I've stayed there a few times. Yeah. Clayton, you ever been to Georgia? I've been through Georgia. Yeah. On your way to where? To the beach. To the beach. Yeah. To Florida Beach. Florida, Alabama. Hopefully you didn't go through Georgia to get to the Alabama beach. I don't know. What did I go to Georgia for? I don't know, because you would have taken the wrong turn if you would have gone. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. It's through Louisiana. <laughs> no, so just no but I, did, I didn't go to Georgia. Didn't go. Clayton. Probably when we went to uh, the Atlantic side. Dean said he's still waiting for his money. Where did Dean win? All of them should be mailed Well, out. whatever it was, it all went out. So. Oh, everybody except for... Uh, we got to do a little fierce today. Oh, yeah. Because we, we figured, figured out who, who you were. Yeah, he... That's cool. Yeah. All right, we got our marking done for our decorative stitch. So let's go over there and do that quick. And then we'll get started on the construction. This is a very hard kit, guys. It's very challenging. Right. Hey, Tony, can you take me away for this? Oh. You need to text somebody? Nope, I just nose? would like to finish some math. Liz has got to pick her nose. Hang on. Nose picker. The old class 26? The old class 26. I'm going to make sure my attention's right. So you said regular number. Missing stitches? What are you doing? No, it's doing something weird. It's kind of looping out on the top. Hmm. Let's try this other line and see if we get similar results. At least it'll look the same. Zero, I don't have to remind Clayton back that she does it before I can even remember to tell him. That's right. I didn't write that. Well, that line went much better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just something wrong with that first line. You see that on camera there? Uh, if you hold it up a little higher, yeah, I could. Right there? No, a little bit more. That's fine. Hold Here. it back. There, there you go. go. I can see it. Oh, yeah, weird. It's weird. Uh, got a couple of loose stitches there. I tightened the top tension just a little bit. I had it kind of loose. I'm only stitching through about four or five ounce leather. You just turn your top a little tighter? What did you say you did? Yeah, just turn the top tension a, a little bit tighter. I might have had it too loose. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and cut that row of stitching, though. I'm going to redo that. Liz, can I turn you back on? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm done. Yeah, thanks. I don't, I mean, we're just going to sit there and watch you drink your coffee. That is true. That's all I'm doing. Out of the wrong cup. Out of the wrong cup. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I literally came in here this morning and I was like, oh my God, I forgot to bring back my thing one, thing two uh, mug. But I will have it next week. I will definitely, Very definitely cool. bring it back in. Yeah, it, it will was, be here. I mean, she didn't say hello or I miss you guys, anything yesterday. The first thing she said was, I forgot my cup. I forgot my cup. So we're gonna put you just for that. I'm gonna put you straight up on here. Why would you do that? You're not on yet, but as soon as I get back to my computer, you will be. I can see that. Just you're gonna do it like right as I sneeze, or not? Okay, I'm good. I usually check and make sure you sneeze. Or if you're not doing anything super okay. crazy. Okay. I know how you get. I get pretty crazy. 
I showed up today to show Denny my cool find that I got at the flea market with my hexagon pie cutter crust utensil, and he's not here today. So I was going to have him do the live shopping with us yesterday because Rusty, Rusty hadn't got here yet. I was getting nervous. And so we're like, oh, let's go see Denny. And Denny's like, hey, I'm working on the lampshade pattern, uh -huh. drawing it out for next week's video. And I was like, okay, you can't be in the video. So we had another, we had plan B. And I was like, hey, is this person here so we can do plan B? Nope, they just left for lunch. And I'm like, oh, great. So I run back, I get Andrew, Andrew's like, okay, I just need to finish, I need a couple more minutes. And he said no. He's like, I need a couple more minutes uh, to finish lam laminating these papers. And I was like, uh, I need you to do live shopping in like two minutes. He's like, let me unplug the laminator. So he wow, gets, you guys in, had he quite gets the in here and he gets behind uh, the table and gets ready. And Rusty opens the door, he's got his hoodie on inside out. He's like, I made it! I made it! And I was like, okay, well, get back here. <laughs> And then we kicked Andrew out of the room. Woo! That sounds like a good time. Yeah. So, that that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm always prepared and ready yeah, on too. Thursdays at 2. <laughs> me too. <laughs> that sounds fun. I know, Denny was like, hey, what are we doing before I left on Wednesday? He's like, what are we doing next week? And I was like, oh, that lampshade. Yeah, so we're going to do a whole leather lampshade next week. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll help him tool it up. Um, so we'll we show you guys how to do that together. Very king tool. I don't know, he might meander some of that. You know, I didn't actually see anything prepped over there. So maybe he intends on starting all the tooling, and then between Wednesday and Friday, we'll finish tooling it, and then we'll assemble, because it's a lot of lacing. The whole thing is laced together. Yeah. It's pretty snazzy. It's a little retro, not going to lie. It's a little 70s, but I like it. And the 70s are totally back, so it's fine. Bell bottom pants. That's right. Jeans, even. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> he gave me a few things that we had been working on. You know, he's been using that uh, 207 on the top and 138 on the bottom. Did you do that? On the nylon. 207 on the top, 138 in the bobbin. Natural. Natural. What was that question? On Facebook? Nope, just Natural. Oh. Just Holly. Just Holly hollering. <laughs> <laughs> Michael says he has his full side of raw hide waiting on a lampshade video. Oh, nice. Well, this is not rawhide. We're doing you, this out of veg. You could do it out of rawhide. You could. You Didn't? Could. We did that. John did his yeah. rawhide lampshade video. Yeah, so so look back through. Um, you should be able to type in lampshade, right, on YouTube? Or rawhide on YouTube. Or rawhide. And, yeah, so we did a video. We actually have a guy in the shop, um, John, who has worked with rawhide and, and has actually done a lot of work for our local Bass Pro store here and Johnny Morris in general, um, making rawhide light works. Mm -hmm. So um, he did that video for us. Denny's done a couple things with rawhide, but it's not his forte. No. So yeah, so check check that out. We already did that. We already got you. You you can you can make your lampshade this weekend. It's already ready. Clayton put racing stripes in there. Right. Very fast. <laughs> He had to do something to jazz it up because otherwise it was just going to be four plain pieces of leather. Which is fine. What's <laughs> wrong with that? I don't remember. What was I in the middle of talking before Holly asked what thread we were using? Who knows? Oh, that black Damascus etched head knife that we have yes. that Denny's been using. I was going to talk to Denny about that and I forgot. I have the stuff over here because I went over there and I was like, hey, Liz needs to talk about this stuff. What stuff do you like and what stuff do you not like? Crap. So we can get it here. I got the deets. Awesome. So I know a couple of you have seen that Denny has been using a new head knife and been curious about it. So we'll be working on that. He uses it more than the heart shape from the hands of his custom made. Crafted, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, I wonder if Michael would let us call this foot stitching. Since it's a sewing machine, but you make it go with your foot. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty random. That's weird. That's where I spend my life. In random? Yeah. 
Random thoughts in the marketing room. What a nice straight line with no roller guide. He's got one there. Oh, I can't use it on that one anyway. I guess you could just back it up with one. Clayton sewed belts for a really long time, so he's he's pretty darn... Apparently. He's, he's pretty good getting that straight line on there. Yeah. Darcy says she misses work. Aww. I mean, her chair is empty. She could have come in. Yeah, you can't just be here instead of being at home, Darcy. Yeah, I, you don't I, have to miss work. I know what in. today is for you, and I'm sorry. Alright. Al thought you were gonna have a bunch of hand stitching, but you didn't. That's that's cute, Al. That's real cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's doing something kinda weird, but we're just gonna roll with it. Because we're live. And that's how that works when you're live. Yep. Just hammer it down, man. Just, just hammer it. Just hammer it down. will take care of it. Put some saddle soap on it. Exactly. That fix those stitchings here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Christina, we tighten the top tension to rid the loops. The floppy loops. Oh, got all the snips. Yeah, you got, you still got a couple. Yeah, there's a couple on here. Yeah, I don't know why it's kind of looping out on the top randomly. You know, if it was consistent, that's a pretty easy fix. But um, I also noticed that um, my uh, bobbin is kind of freewheeling inside the casing. If I pull out the thread too fast or if I start and stop too fast on my stitching, uh, the bobbin just kind of spins inside the casing, which will unwind part of the bobbin inside there and can cause some tension issues. What would, how would you stop the uh, free wheeling out of your bobbin? Uh, typically, there's a, there's a small little coil spring that can go underneath the bobbin that mm -hmm. kind of keeps it pushed up against the top and it keeps a little bit of friction on it. Just a little bit, just enough to where it doesn't spin freely in there. So maybe that is being weird or is gone? Yeah. This is what happens. That's the thing. When you don't prep your machine. Christina says she pulled those stitches from the back. Yeah, you could just tug on them a little bit to kind of tighten them up from the back. Use a lighter and melt them down a little bit? No, you don't do that. It's not a lighter, it's a thread burner. <sighs> That's a good point. You guys need a, a high quality thread burner? I think we sell those. <laughs> we even have a leash for them. Well, we did. I think I gave them all away. You did. We sent them out with all the free stuff. I got another set if you want to do another panel. Ah, that's all right. Okay. I think it'll be fine. Another, oh, another set? Where'd you get another set at, Chad? We have one set guy for the, uh, the components. Oh. For a number making team. Dean says start over. Start. That's it. We're done. 30 minutes in. Start back at the beginning. Okay. So now you have dyed, tooled, finished, whatever, whatever you're you... going to do to your pieces. That's right. Now we'll actually start putting it together. So I am going to just double check the instructions. Look, instructions. Right. Uh, because there are a few key measurements here, and that's going to be the spacing of these loops. Um, so starting out, we're going to start a quarter inch from the bottom, and we're going to mark a line. So, of course, I don't have my wing dividers on me today. And there's probably don't have any in here. We don't have any in here anymore. They got... Andy. Andy, wing dividers. Holly, go meet Andy halfway. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> yes, master. So we'll measure a quarter inch up. Mark a line across. That was a weird corner that got clicked. Just. I don't worry. I pointed it out to Andy. Oh, good. Yeah, he was having a great day. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't even show you the first ones because I had to cut out. I mean, they were fine. Leather quality is fine, just way too thick. 
That's why I have the splitter. That looks really good. To like try 20 it. ounces. Oh boy! Found some a scrap piece of uh, saddle skirting. It's like, you know. Let's probably, probably split that first. Just unnecessary. <laughs> Don't need to click it out of that. You're not Holly. No. 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 It's just I mean, Nick, yeah. guys. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a great video today. It's going well. See, I'm not the only one that can do voices. <laughs> All right, we're not going to wait on him. So marking a quarter inch a quarter inch up first, and then hey, we're going to go five and a really quarter. <laughs> oh, great. We got a few choices here. Take your poison. All right. And then up from that line, we're going to go five and a quarter inches, and then we're going to repeat that for the other loops. So what from the bottom? Quarter inch. And then? Five and a quarter. And then a quarter inch from that five and a quarter up. Let's see. Nope, five. you just go a quarter inch from the bottom. And you then guys you guys will have to wait and see. And you do, yeah. You do some five and a quarter inch measurements. Ah, uh, I see. Ah. Those beautiful instructions. And five Rose. And five and Look at Rose. Mm. There she is. There she is. She's the happiest dog on the planet, guys. She was, she was back there happy. eating um, leather scraps or chewing on them. Yeah, her and Opal both like to to hork down some leather dots. Opal is like the leather dot cleaner. So anytime we click dies that have a bunch of holes in them, she always comes by those clickers and eats all those little dots off the floor. <laughs> we, we try to make sure that those ones are veg tan. Sweep up the chrome tan once before she gets to them. I assume they pass easily. I don't know. <laughs> Al is going to remove some snow. Thanks for joining for a little bit, Al. Have fun. I'm sure there are some people that wish that we had snow right now because it's December 31st and it's 55 degrees. degrees. We might get snow tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. We might. First day of the year. It's not going to stick though because it's 55 degrees. It's no, but it'll be pretty for a minute. <laughs> Oh, I can't switch to that camera. I have Liz's face on that camera. Yeah, no. You I mean, know. I guess I could switch you to the camera. Want that. I probably wouldn't get complaints, but I wouldn't be able to see what was going on in Clayton's work. <laughs> What's wrong? She's silently saying, Tony, I thought we were friends. I, I, we are. I literally didn't switch to the camera and then went and moved it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Tell you what, just some burnished hermit oak looks so good. I know that's what I was looking like. The gum track on top of it looks so good. It's yeah, like all the characters that you couldn't see before. Yeah, look, look how gorgeous that is. Like people that complain when their leather has fat wrinkles, I sometimes I just get real upset about it because it's just the best part of leather. That's leather. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> It didn't you know, have fat wrinkles and it was just one perfect it'd solid just be color. It's vinyl. Yeah. And nobody likes that. Just go buy some vinyl. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we're going to start with some basting tape. I totally We brought. used to have some. Oh, I hope we still do. Andy! Oh, right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. I, what do you want? I do have what do you want? Tape. Quarter inch. There you go. Thank you. I was like, it was right here. Never mind, Andy. Call okay, it off. Andy, you're off the hook. All right, so I'm going to apply some quarter inch basing tape across the short edge of this piece. Not the long edge. Not the long edge. Good call. <laughs> so funny. All right, so now we got this nice decorative stitching right at the middle. We're just going to line that up and place the top of this piece flush with that line. Let's see. Make sure we just cover it just a bit. I wish I could reply to this person, but my keyboard does not have the Russian characters to F them. But they said, great job. Thank you. All right. So then we're going to go back over the sewing machine, and then we're going to stitch right across that. There's going to be a lot of back and forth right now. A little bit. We've got some 71s. In San Antonio, we got an eight, another 80 in Texas. Nice. 80 is, that's warm. Okay, it would be nice. Yeah. Be right with that. We got Michael who had done a cowboy wine holder, so he showed us a picture of his. Nice. Yeah. What does it mean that it's a, does it have cowboys on it? 
No, I guess we call that because it's leather, I assume. Mm. What did somebody else call? They ask cowboy suspenders? Yeah, that's oh, a cowboy yeah. suspenders. And I was like, what's a cowboy suspender? But I think it's just leather suspenders. It's leather, it's gotta be cowboy. <laughs> you got a cowboy purse, you got a cowboy backpack, cowboy briefcase. <laughs> Only cowboys are, are allowed to own it's leather, leather products. Yeah. If you're not a cowboy, get away from my leather. 25, 18 degrees. Yep. Darcy says, I still see that we haven't added a chicken dance for Twitch points. I just did that earlier. She wants With Layla. Me and Layla did the chicken dance before our shop meeting today. <laughs> well, do I need to get her in here so you guys can show us what it looked like? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you can drag her in here, I'll do it. Oh, shit. I would be pretty surprised. <laughs> she would not come in. She's yeah, like I Lindsay. I don't think she's ever stepped foot in this room. <laughs> I don't know if she'd really have a reason to come in this room. No. All right, so now applying basing tape to the flesh side on your first piece. The opposite short side. Throw your trash at me, why don't you? Again, lining up our threads, putting it flush with that line we'd marked previously. That's pretty handy, just to have that kind of center line there. Yep. It is. It's kind of nice. Thinking ahead. Look at you go. All right. And then your next piece, go ahead and stick basing tape. You should, okay. Uh, you should do it on this side so that this is on the bottom of the loop so you don't see it. I thought it was pretty. It's nice it's, bug bites. Clayton, I don't know no, if I'm you have. No, I'm talking about the spread. I don't know if you have this answer or if it would be a question for Jim, but Christina said, thank you first for explaining the bobbin problem that could be because she has the looping issue. Oh, yeah. So how she can try to troubleshoot it. But the question from her is, will size M bobbin genie fit in the Cobra 26 to stop that backlash? I don't even know what a Cobra bobbin genie is. That might be a question for Jim. Darcy. Find Jim. Is Jim handy? <laughs> Ask him. Is that, um, it, it probably will. Most of them are really small. Did they call it a Cobra product? Size M Bobbin Genie. Yeah. Hmm. Five degrees with a wind chill of minus 10. That's disgusting. It's no good. Jenny B, are you still in here? She's up in Canada. Where? What's the temperature there? Marcus, what's the temperature over there? Oh, wait. There? I'm, going, I'm going about this all wrong. Hold on a second. I turned it upside down on myself. Uh oh. Huh. Hate, hate to hear that. There we go. So yeah, make sure we're layering them appropriately. Keep your stitches lined up. Uh, Cobra twenty six has a U bob and Teflon size M is the one available. Hmm. I don't know what the U bob looks like. Uh, the items now on the web website. Okay. New, new item. We're concerned about bobbins right now, Chad. In case anybody wanted a wine ball here. So it's 144-5501? Yep, that's correct. 144-5501 if you would like to purchase the wine <laughs> wall hanger. Perfect. <gasps> Layla came! Layla did come! Come! Come in here! Come stand right by me. We're gonna right. do a chicken dance. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off so you can get so you can get over there. I turned off the top one. Uh, Clayton's gonna stitch and he's gonna back stitch this on. And three, two, Why is this one. <laughs> Everybody, this is Layla. Hey, Layla, she works in our. Um, she owns Lily, another dog here. Yeah, Lily's She's the best dog. Though. She's pretty fun. She has beautiful eyes. Her eyes stare into your soul, yeah, yeah. and they're sometimes a little creepy. Oh, now you can't get That's out. That's beautiful. Oh, wait, you back at the table now? Just for a moment, I gotta put another piece on and stitch it again. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, Layla. Uh, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> for the I'll let you out. For the chicken dance. Okay, thanks. I was passing out suckers, so I'll go back to that. <laughs> thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. Oh, my <laughs> God. Cool.
<laughs> you know what? It's the last day of the year. Sure. We can be wild. Chevy says, somebody clip that out on Twitch. I'm driving. <laughs> why, why are you watching that while you're driving? And where are you driving to? Maybe he, you can just have it on vocal or just audio. I mean, because that's really all you need. Twitch, you can just do audio. Jenny B says in Toronto it's 43, so not that cold. Uh, Chad. There was another Chad that said, when is this kit going to be available? So right now. You are you are right on time. Yeah, right, right now. In the new items on the website. So go to springfieldleather.com, click on uh, Hover Over Shop Now, go to new items, and it should be the first item right at the top. <laughs> you don't even need channel points. <laughs> I'll just start singing the song at certain times. Oh, I could do that and add that in when you spin channel points, it plays a song, and then you do a dance. The crab dance. A little song and dance. We don't even need one. Thanks. We just need a wine holder. That's right. <laughs> We're weird enough all on our own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we figured that out on the Cyber Monday. We don't, all you need to do to make Tony crazy is nothing. But if you're going to get him crazier, give, give him, him cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, will you say that number one more time? One four four dash five five zero one. You can also just type that into the search bar on our website, and you it can will probably also in just a second it. look on the on the all the chat that you are on. I will post the link. Oh, giving you all the options, guys. We are helping you internet, internet, internet. I don't know. You said it. Google search. Well, I'm back to that one. Oh, did you need to be off for a second? No, I'm good. It's fine. I was just that. You know what? Once the chicken dance song gets stuck in your head, it doesn't go anywhere. Nope. It's just there. I believe that Salvador is. Salvador said the same crew is always here. That makes me so happy. <laughs> we do have a really consistent crew. We love you guys. Yeah. We, I, I feel like we must be doing something right because you keep coming back, which always really impresses me. David noticed Clayton's mistake before he did. He's like, wait a second, he put that on upside down. Darcy's, or Darcy said Jim's helping somebody move, so he's not available for servicing questions. But if you, call, if you call, call in on Monday, we'll be back here. Oh, that's what I was doing before they came in. Hey, Sean. Oh, Jeannie. Over there in Europe. I wonder if he's watching on his Oculus today. Not that it would matter because our video is not 360 still. Yeah, I mean, the, so the class 26 takes the U bobbin, and so any accessories for an M bobbin are probably going to work with a U bobbin. <laughs> Machines are pretty specific about what, well, what they need. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Uh, there's other things you can use though, just to take up some of that slack inside your bobbin casing. We've done things like. Is this what is this what you're talking about? This little beehive spring. Yeah. Hmm. So coming out of a class three, it probably wouldn't. Yeah, that wouldn't work, but. It'd be too much. There, I'll have to figure out where we have the ones that we got in the shop. Okay. I don't know if they just come with the machine. If you can buy more. The Mac. So. Just you might know. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. You know what this matches, Clayton? I do. What's that? Your your bag Explore. that you made. Oh your yeah, Explore bag. The other bag that you're supposedly working on. Absolutely. <laughs> That's definitely going to be done well before the day of the video. No New Year's Day deals that I know of. If you need any deals, we have lots of stuff on. If you go to the website and you go to deals and deals, there uh, sales. Mm -hmm. There's deals and deals. There's clearance, close out. There's flash sales. Every week there's new stuff in the Dean said free catalogs. Yeah, we give free catalogs every year whenever we have them. We got, but we and we got them. We got them. So depends on how fast the mail is carrying them, which seems like painfully slow. Ooh, Tony. Oh, I, Liz. I ordered belt buckles for us. For our, I'm going to make for us green matching belt. green belts. Mm -hmm. And nice. I. going <laughs> to be our live shopping belts? Yeah. Um, and they're going to be super fancy. I'm, I'm pretty excited. So those are getting delivered today, I think. 
Are we doing it on a stream, or are we? Are you gonna do the belts on a stream? No, I, I was just gonna make them at home. Sweet. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. But then we'll show you guys. Oh, the chicken dance at SLC got clipped by Elva. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now we can make it into a gift. <laughs> You guys totally want to watch Clayton wind a bobbin, don't you? That's number one on everybody's agenda. Winding bobbins. Winding number bobbins. Number one. Snowing machines are number one. SLC is number one. Oh, I called it. Look at that. <laughs> I told you it was getting close. I could feel it. Alright, you want to trim that for me? I gotta wind it up now. Do you want me to pull the whole thing out or do you want me to leave it? Uh, it doesn't matter. You can pull it out. It's not very much. Okay. We'll watch you do a bobbin. Uh, well, we'll you... have enough. I'll leave so it's everything. Well, it shouldn't go anywhere. I think I've got enough here to finish up. I'm just gonna leave half of it. So, while we're watching you, put this bobbin back in. Does it matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise? Yeah, I always feed it in uh, to where it's unspooling clockwise. Okay. Stomp that pedal. Yep. Alright, so... <laughs> yep, that should be good. Hopefully we got enough. I'm not sure what they're doing out there. Maybe they're getting the rest of our door installed. Hey, Charles. Hi, Charles. Charles got stuff on the live shopping yesterday. Got a hey. London, London honey sign. Very nice. <laughs> Molly says, I have a bobbin winding while I <laughs> see because I hate winding. <laughs> As a single function. Oh, while she sews. Yeah, while she yeah. sews. Yeah, two E's instead of a W. Chicken necks and chicken dances. Didn't we have a chicken neck leather yesterday? Was that a thing? Two. We had an orange one and a green one. That's right. We had Rusty a chicken neck leather. was not that impressed with our names. <laughs> Some of the names he did not care for. It took him a bit to get warmed up to the things that were happening yesterday. <laughs> He did not realize how, how silly, is he silly gotten... we are. It's pretty silly up in here. Oh, man. Oh. Man, I was so proud of that name, too. <laughs> chicken necks? Yeah, it's the chicken neck leather. It, was it just block, looked like Minnie's. Block, block tipped chicken neck. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> that was about how impressed Rusty was. <laughs> Hey, All right, you last have one, one more stitch. Last one. Woo! So we're going to be a little bit more careful stitching this one, make sure we get it nice and straight. You haven't been careful this whole time? Nope. You've been careless? I'm sewing care carelessly. So yeah, this should be a really, a really easy kit for just about anybody to do. And it doesn't have to be a lot of hand stitching. I mean, you don't have to do the decorative stitching. Honestly, it would just be these, these few lines of... Uh, of stitching across his panels. If you don't have a machine and you have to do it. Right, you could even assemble it with rivets if you wanted to. You could. Yeah. Rusty took 20 bucks off of one of the leathers we did yesterday. Well, look at him go. That soft navy one, on the butt of it, it had some discoloration. Mm. So he's like, let me help you folks out. That was good of him. He does things like that. Look at that, we got some funny looking threads around. Right on the front. Right on the there. front one. Yep. Perfect. Such is life. Why have it perfect when you can have it mediocre? <laughs> Blake was not impressed with that either. But you can see my camera. <laughs> my wife just texted me, she said, Is that coming home from my wall? <laughs> uh, Clayton? Hey man, that's on you. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. It will be there. Now now I think you should ask if it's going to be full or empty. <laughs> uh, most of 
most of the bottles that we get are. are maybe are maybe pull put put in a request. Put in a request. <laughs> I need to stop on the way. <laughs> we got a brown derby right down the street. It's the wine center. That's what it's called. Yep. The International Wine Center. It just really doesn't get better than that. Oh, there you go. She says, good answer. Bring me home. Or what <laughs> bottles of wine to put in it. Or more <laughs> bottles of wine to put in it. You're welcome, Tony. Yeah. I mean, I got here at 7 this morning, so I can check out early. <laughs> and still get my hours in. <laughs> I know, I got here all ready to help put in estimates and everything from Knocked yesterday, and he already had it all done. Wow. He's like, I don't need you. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's not what he said. <laughs> oh, no, you're more fun to make fun of, and then you make fun of me back, and you don't. You <laughs> laugh at all my jokes. I do. <laughs> I just laugh at everything, though, so just take that for what it's worth. Yay! <laughs> good, good, bad, or not even a joke. I laugh. <laughs> awesome. One last thing to do here. I think you're going to set some rivets. Yep. I'm going to set a couple rivets to get the uh, the rigging D that we chose to put in the kit. Look, I, I have all your stuff right here. Oh, right here. Yep. Awesome. So, slip the D-ring right on there. Your two holes should line up. And then we include a couple of uh, medium double cap nickel plated rivets with the kit. And, you know, feel free to switch this up if you want. If you want to use, you know, some brass hardware or if you want to put... Some, some copper rivet rivets and burrs yeah. in there instead of just double cap rivets. Or if you want to sew it down, you know, do whatever you want to do. There are holes there, so just know that. You will need to put something in them. Smash and flat? Do we have a rivet setter? No, yeah, smash and flat. flat. That's okay. what we do in here. All right. <laughs> then you don't need to worry about being messed up. Not too bad. So yeah, super simple kit. Hold it up for them. There They're looking go. at it there right there. <laughs> there it is. What's that camera show? Oh, there you go. Look at those racing stripes. And then put some wine in it. And then drink it. And then take some wine out of it. <laughs> and then put some more wine in it. Put your bottle just back right. in. So Put your good. liquor bottles in there or, you know, yeah. liters of cola or <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> liters? I don't know about that. That might get a little, I might, don't know might get a little much. Cola. You might definitely want those copper rivets if you're going to put liters of cola in here. Put your, I don't know, put a growler in there. We need a whatever beer. beverage you prefer to consume. Whatever you want. Put Can your sparkling and grape juice. A, a growler holder for a bike? Oh, oh no, Tony. No, you keep bringing it up. <laughs> you brought the growler up. I feel like you did it on purpose, so I took it and ran with no, it. No, we're going to do the six-pack holder here in, what, a few weeks. Yep. All right. Clayton, we finished this in an hour. Yep. It is 11.56. Yeah. I'm surprised we made it take that long. <laughs> it's it's pretty simple. <laughs> if you're really not looking to... stitches out. You know, yeah, if you're really not looking to embellish it much, it you could put it together really quickly. Yep. Yeah. Easy peasy. Absolutely. All right, folks. Well, we hope you have a safe evening and a wonderful new year. Um, don't get too crazy. Everybody stay safe. Enjoy. We will see you next year. Yep. Have a good one, guys. Okay. Later. Bye. Bye.